Welcome the fuck back to Dark Souls Prepared to Die Edition. The Dead of Winter here, and we are back. Uh, last episode, we killed uh, Priscilla. We went through the entire painted world. And uh, now we're pretty much on a mission to go kill Gwendolyn, the last main boss game, besides Gwen and, of course, the DLC. And uh, I had to look up uh, where exactly the Dark Moon Seance Ring is because that is what we need to and, uh, to be this boss, or not beat it, but to get to it, to be able to even to uh, attempt it. And um, right now I'm just trying to find a good bonfire to warp to. Because uh, I know where we need to go now. And I think we're just going to need to go here. Uh, because there's not... We can't warp to the one bonfire that I want to warp to, which is like the first bonfire in the catacombs. Because that's where the uh, the ring is. It's in a tomb somewhere in the catacombs. I was really hoping it would be somewhere else. But it's not. We gotta go all the way to the catacombs. Oh, and our boy Patches is here, actually. I guess we didn't need to get that dialogue thing to work. How many of you are there? You've come at the perfect time. I'm done with the looting. I'm a humble merchant now, and wondrous treasures have I. At a special price. Patches squat. There you are. Have a nice look at them. Oh, relax. No more funny business out of me, my friend. Prostration. Sells I death. Uh, I'm pretty sure unlimited humanities, but he drives a hard bargain, as you can see. Sells all the cleric armor. Hmm. Nice. Nothing we need though at the moment. Nothing up Sorry about that, patches, but we're moving the fuck on. We don't need your shit. We're on a mission right now. The goal, the roadmap that we were talking about earlier on in the series. We're going for the ring. We're going for Gwendolyn. And then after Gwendolyn, if anything, if nothing else comes up, we are going straight to the DLC. After, of course, we set up the DLC, which is which involves us first going to the Darkroot Forest, Darkroot Garden. Killing a Hydra and killing a uh, Crystal Golem. And after that, we need to go to Duke's Archives. And after Duke's Archives, we need to go back to the Darkroot Garden where we killed that Golem. And uh, then at that point, we will be ready to enter the DLC. So we have a lot of stuff to do this episode. Hopefully, we can get it done within our 20 to 30 minute range that we so. Uh, desire to hit. You fucking dickbag. Alright, not really digging this, skeletons. You guys can all just take the biggest fuck off that you can. Alright, I'm a bit confused. Oh shit. Oh shit. Pretty sure these things are going to keep coming back to life. Yep. But the thing that I'm not getting is how the fuck are we supposed to get over there? Alright, you all can suck dicks. Suck my fucking dick. Every fucking inch. Alright, 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 alright. Now you're pissing me off. That arrow is tracking. Okay, I was gonna be like, how the fuck am I supposed to get off this bridge if Patches is not here to uh, turn it for me? But this is how we do it. This is how we do it. There we go. I hope that's the right fucking bridge. Or else I'm gonna have to go pull that lever, which I have no idea how to fucking get to that one. 
so many skeletons. Spooky, scary skeletons. Can I jump? I'm about to jump. See you later, fuckos. This is the bonfire we needed to get to. If I would have known we needed the Dark Moon Seance Ring, I probably would have, uh... Would have tried to get it while we were here the first time. Because that would have been smarter looking back. But I forgot that the fucking Gwydalyn fight even involved a ring in the first place. I thought it was just an illusory statue that you had to interact with by way of rolling or with a sword or whatever the fuck. But that's not the case, obviously. Or else we wouldn't be looking for this goddamn ring. Gotta go through this fog wall. And... Two skeletons. Trying to parry me. Kick that shit down. And surprise. Oh, I just one-shotted him. And there's the Dark Moon Seance Ring. See you later, fuckers. Haha. <laughs> yes, we got the ring. That's what I'm talking about. And, uh, shit, I don't want to leave the bonfire immediately. We need to... Why do I have 62,000 souls? That's a lot. Can I level up with that? Bet your ass I can. Alright, to Onorlando. To Onorlando, there we go. Can't press the right buttons. Alright, so from here we just basically run straight and, uh... We'll be at the boss fight. Alright, we are back. I just had to take a quick stretch break. It's important to stay stretched out, stay hydrated after long bouts of kicking ass. Definitely a, uh, a tip. And a, a tip of a life advice. Um, yeah, but I've been sitting for a lot today, so I'm trying to get up and stretch a little bit. Oh, shit, I'm about to, I'm about to miss this? Okay, good. Took a drink at the wrong time. Had to commit to the drink, though. Oh, I missed it. I missed. Alright, we're going straight. Shit. Fuck. I forgot about... Oh, why didn't I just warp to that? I can warp to that, can I? I just want to see if it's like possible to like jump down onto it. That texturing does not look weird at all. Alright, yeah, we're just gonna warp to it. Like a smart person. Hey, look, there's the item that we have. Uh, Dark Moon Tomb. We're warping. Bitch, we're warping. Alright, if this doesn't work, I don't know what the fuck will. Yes! Yay, that was worth the wait. Not really the wait, but worth the suffering to try to go get that motherfucker. Yes! How many SS we got? Seven? I'm kind of feeling like I, uh, pop some humanities real quick. What am I doing? Uh, yeah, let's pop a, a, a twin. Warp, not warp, uh, reverse hollowing. And we will kindle this bonfire up twice. Because I think that'll take us to 15 flasks. Hell, might as well kindle it to 20. If we're going to do 15. 
because uh, this fight isn't that hard either. Uh, but it is very easy to take damage, so. And there's one one other thing that I always find about Dark Souls. I always end up playing it in December because I remember it one year uh, playing this game. I think it was like the, for the first time that I ever played this game was a fucking magical experience. I'd go back um, and relive my first playthrough if I could. It was just such a great time. I remember playing it right around Christmas time, and um, I think Christmas Eve I was like stuck on Iron Golem. Brings back memories. And here I am again playing it in December, so it's crazy. Thou art a true disciple of the dark sun. Cast aside thine eye. Hear the voice of mine self. Windelin, and kneel before me. Nah, bitch. Nah. Nah. Mm-mm. Mm-mm. What foolishness. Show yourself. No, I'm not a disciple. I'm just here to murder your ass. Only one of us is going to come out of here alive. And I have a good feeling it's going to be me. Teleport's back. I forgot how to dodge that. Well, you can get away this time. Just gotta strafe left and right for that. Oh my god, that damage. That damage, though. This is one of the trippiest boss fights in the game, too. It's a never-ending hallway. That fucking hurt. Oh, I might be dead. Wow. Wow, I died to this boss. That's crazy. Shit, I'm out of water. That's actually insane. I actually died to that boss. That's fucked up. Wow. All right, let's try that again. It's not too hard, though. You see how much damage we were doing. We don't need to see the cutscene again. My souls are all the way fucking down there. That's so weird. Don't do this attack. That attack is annoying. That's how you're supposed to dodge the arrows. There we go. It's supposed to just strafe left and right. Oh, what am I doing? I did a lot of damage, though. One hit away, lady. You are one hit from death. Throwing these big fucking snowballs at me. And dead. GG. Ew, snake tails. An eternal curse upon thee. You are freaky, lady. Just like that, we're back. Also, must look very familiar for those who played DS3. And who may or may not have played DS1. We are in the Dark Moon Tomb. One of these chests has nothing in them, I think. Sunlight Blade. This one has nothing in it. Uh, 
brass set. And this one has what in it? No chest. Alright, well, that's it for that. Dark Sun Gwynland down. Now begins the journey to um, set up the DLC. So we've got a lot of things ahead of us to do right now. One involves... We need to go to the Darkroot Forest. So let's go to Undead Parish. Gotta kill the Hydra. Which that Hydra is actually pretty easy to kill. So we gotta kill them. And then we gotta kill the... The golem that's there and free a certain lady. A little lady. We must free her. And uh, so begins the running simulator. And if I haven't done so already, I want to thank everybody for, of course, tuning into the episode here today. Hope you're having a great day. I'm having a great day. I've done nothing but play fucking Dark Souls all day. But, I mean, that's that's a plus, right? So we'll go this way. And then we will continue this way. We got some golems to slay out. Big ass fish monster to kill. No big deal, right? No big deal. Not at all. Of course not. Easy peasy, lemon squeezy. Let me at him. Kind of wish we had the dark wood grain ring uh, from. Um, you know, maybe it's not too late to get it. We would have to kill a lot of fucking NPCs, though, to get that ring, and I don't know if it's necessarily worth it. Alright, I'm. Rushing this fucking Hydra. Okay, good thing the Hydras get damaged too, or else this would be a very stupid idea. Or the golems get damaged. I don't know if I said that. Fuck! Back up! There's one head. I'm so slow. See, we don't really need to kill this Hydra, but it would just make life a lot easier if we did it. Thank you for killing it. There's one gone. Why are you firing water guns? I'm right in front of you. I was gonna say, did I just get two of them? Looks like it. He's almost dead. This one's gonna like land over here. Uh, go for this one. Ooh! Oh, I missed it. God damn it. Oh, come on. Uh, you're mine. One more hit! Oh, I almost fucking rolled off the edge. Oh, wow, I need to attack the one that lands right there. And you're dead. All right, perfect. This dragon scret dragon scale and dusk crown ring. And so begins the long trek through the water.
And after we do this, we gotta kill a golem. I think. I think that's the next step. Or else I could be doing it completely wrong. If there isn't a golem over here. Uh, is there? Hello, golem? No, there's no golem. Okay, then I think we need to go do something else. So I will be back in a moment. Alright, so I think I know what one thing is I want to try. But first, I wanted to, uh... Let you guys in on this. She's mad that I killed Gwendolyn. And uh, now she's trying to fight me. But unfortunately, I gotta kill her. Or else she won't get off my ass. And that's a one hit kill. And rip that bonfire. But we can still warp to it, of course. We cannot rest at it, though, which sucks. And there's one thing that I want to try in order to get this DLC to work, which I'm pretty sure the DLC is pre-built into the game. That's why it's called the Prepare to Die Edition, because it has the DLC built in. And if I find out I have to download the DLC separately, I will, because we're going to do the damn DLC regardless. But I don't think I should have to. This is my uh, last ditch effort to try and figure this out because I warped the Duke's Archive bonfire. It's the wrong bonfire, so I had to walk back to that one, and I want to show you guys me completely wrecking that firekeeper there, so you didn't miss out on nothing. So let's go ahead and get in this bitch. Let's rest here. So in case we die, we come back here and we have a warp point. Instead of having to warp from somewhere else. There's a blue crystal golem in there that we need to kill. And I think we've killed him before. But I don't ever remember him dropping an item or me trying to pick up an item from him. But now that the Hydra's dead, I think we need the pendant from the golem in order to make the the gold golem to show up. Oh, now I'm one-shotting these fools. Let's go. Fuck out of here. place is still as cancerous as ever and you're shooting at nothing All right, this is the golem we need to kill huh interesting well I'll be back in a moment when I figure this shit out Alright guys, so one thing that I was able to find out is that after you kill the Hydra, the Hydra is mandatory to kill for this uh, entrance of the DLC. After you kill the Hydra, you're supposed to reload the area, this area, and then check to see if the Crystal Golem is there, the golden one, which I did not do. So with the area being reloaded, saved and quit, um, let's hope... And, uh, let's really just hope this crystal golem is here. Or else I'm gonna be real confused. Okay, there it is. As I said, this is the prepare to die edition. So we should, without a doubt, have this crystal golem here. Hello, sir. You look fucking dope. Ow. He's all blinged out. Trying to uppercut me. Sending some fucking punches my way, goddamn. Two shot, okay. And then we talk to the lady inside. So, it is thou who rescued me. Most gracious, 
I am deeply obliged. I am. I was gonna say, where's my fucking thank you? I come up from an age long before thine. I cannot stay here for long. So, before I disappear, allow me to ask one thing. My home, Ulysseo, is the home of ancient sorceries. My hope is to pass this profound knowledge to thee with thine approval. Would this be of assistance to thee? Sure. My heartfelt thanks. I am pleased beyond words. Then I shout, engrave my signature. Thou art in need. Pray summon me from my signature. Seems that my time is done. May the great flames guide thee. And she's just boom out of there. All right, now. Now, we have to go back to the Duke's archives, and from there, we have to uh, kill the blue crystal golem, and then come back here. So, I'm going to cut to me getting to the blue crystal golem, and then I'll, after that I'll cut to me coming back here, because it's going to be quite a bit of running simulator, so I'll see you guys in a few seconds. Got the broken pendant, and now we're going back. Alright, so we made it back, and we also had a little change of wardrobe, because I wanted to be able to take less damage from hits from weaker enemies, and I thought it'd be nice to switch it up a little bit uh, than just the, uh, the gold hem set. But we got the broken pendant, and we are here. We are back. And we're going to examine the fuck out of this trippy looking portal that I can never see the other side of because it's constantly turning. Examine. Well, shit. That's gross as hell. And zoop. The space butthole has resealed once again, and here we are in the Sanctuary Guardian in the DLC. First time ever playing DLC on the PC. Hopefully it's going to be fun. And you look at my what my foot is doing down there right now. It's got a fucking mind of its own. You see that? Look at that shit. It's just straight over there doing the fucking the jig. Stop that. All right, well, that was a long, fucking weird episode. I hope you did enjoy it, though, and please be sure to leave a like on the video if you did. And, of course, any comments you have down in the comment section below. And I hope you didn't get too cold during this episode because it's been the dead of winter. And as always, guys, we'll see you in the next one. Thank you so much for watching.